Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Cracks at Turning Problems into Solutions. This is me Priyasha Das and today we will be learning a data interpretation set which is a table based DI. So generally the data is given in the form of a table and this looks as an extensive table to us where the number of graduates who got employment in different fields with their average salaries is mentioned. Now I have three questions in this DI but I would just be concentrating on one question today in this video and then I'll be releasing two more parts in which I'll be considering two more questions of the same table based DI. The reason for keeping it short in this video is because I want to share the technique and the approach of doing these percentage based questions. I know that everyone knows percentages and if someone asks you what is 26 percent of 800 so it's very easy to do it by that process but when you get a DI based question where the questions are extensive and lengthier in calculations we need to generate an approach which will make us uh, you know complete the questions faster. So let's focus on that. Let's focus on the first question and then we would see what calculation we are supposed to make here. The first question says what was the approximate value of the absolute difference. Now please focus over here they need an approximate value and when it comes to approximate value we will read the note and the note says that the percentage of graduates employed in the different fields is rounded off to the nearest integer. So if we get any decimals we will round it off to the nearest integer. Now what we have to find out is the absolute value of the or absolute difference between the number of students focus number of students not percentage of students number of students who got job in marketing and those who got job in finance over the given period over the given period here stands for the entire years we have been given the data of 2012 till 2012. 16 and that means over all these six years or rather I should say five years I need to calculate the number of students here if you focus you would find that this is given as the percentage of graduates not the number of students and here is the number of graduates so basically what we need to do is we need to find out the number of students who are graduating in finance and marketing where is the comparison made if we scroll down and check the comparison is made over the number of students in marketing and the number of students in finance now there are two methods of doing it if this is uh, by the way this is a previous year cat paper so if you see the solution anywhere on internet or I don't know where you will search it but if you will see the solution they will give you a very basic method of doing it and the basic method says that you need to first calculate what is 12% of 800 then you need to calculate what is 36% of 800 and then you will subtract it and that's how the basic method works. You need to calculate all the people in finance and then all the people in marketing and then subtract and get the absolute difference. But we won't be doing it that way. Though the calculators are allowed in the CAT examination, but it's not allowed in the ZAT and the other examination. So we need to prepare ourselves for the uh, for every examination, whether or not we get the calculator. So let's see what we should do here to reduce a little bit of time in this lengthy question. No doubt it is a lengthy question and it will take time, but we'll still strive to reduce the time. Now, can we directly find out the difference between the percentages? 36 minus 12 is equals to 24 percentage. So can I directly find out 24 percent of 800 which will give me the value of 2012? I can. And another process of doing it is instead of calculating 24 percent of 800, you can do it orally. Now while doing it orally, you can take the help of 25 percent. Now if I take the help of 25% of 800, I am very much aware that it is 1 4th of 800. So 1 4th of 800 is 200. Now this is 1% more than the required number. So 1% of 800 is equals to 8. So what we can do is we can simply subtract 8 from 200 and we will get 192. So in 2012, my absolute number can be noted down as 192. So I'll just note it down over here that it's 192 in 2012. Now, if I complete the other part like that only, 
we would be getting our answers too quick now i'm writing down the things because you would be might be getting it for the first time so you can understand what calculations i am doing now another difference 48 minus 17 now if i do 48 minus 17 what should i get i should get 31 percent now that means i need 31 percent of 650 31 percent can also be divided as 30 percent and 1 percent so 30 percent would nothing be but 65 into 3 so this is a quicker calculation you can do it that 65 into 3 gives me 195 and 195 plus 1 percent of this number is 6.5 so if i add 6.5 with 1 point uh, sorry 195 then i would be getting 201.5 now as it's mentioned over here that we can round it up to the nearest integer we can take it as 202 for convenience because of course uh, the number of people cannot be in decimals so we can round it up to 202 people so over here i'll just note down my data that in 2013 it's 202 now for 2014 if i do the calculation it's 43 minus 23 which is 20 percent and 20 percent of 1100 is 110 into 2 that is 220 so this is very easy to calculate just orally you can do it now 37 minus 19 now if we do 37 minus 19 we would be simply getting 18 over here now 18 percent of 1200 if I am trying to block 18% of 1200, I can do it in the same way, 20% minus 2%. So 20% would be equals to 240 and 2% will be equals to 24. So if I subtract 240 minus 24, I would be getting 216. So I can take 216 as the number in 2015 and the last data will be 32 and 32 you see there is no percentage change so when there is no percentage change there will be no difference so simply we are going to avoid the data of 2016 and if i avoid the data of 2016 there will be no changes to my answer made now what's the final answer for this question we are going to add 192 plus 202 plus 220 plus 216 i want you all to pause this video and do it on your own that if you add up all these numbers what is the number you are supposed to get i am adding it you can also add it with me if i add all these numbers i would be getting 830 and 830 is present in let's see which option do we have 830 we have 830 in option number three so that means the answer for this question will be 830. Now it's all about the understanding of the question. Generally people don't understand what they have to subtract and they simply go bewildered in such a big data field. But the only thing or only interesting thing to crack here is these questions are really simple to solve only if you understand the language of the examiner. So here in this question, a quick revision, we were supposed to first find out the difference in the percentage and then evaluate the number in every year to get the absolute difference between the people in finance and marketing. The longer way could have been where you would have calculated all the percentages separately for finance and all the percentages separately for the uh, marketing and then added them and then subtracted the total so we could have got the same answer but in a lengthier process so if you find this video useful please make sure that you like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and please 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 stay tuned with the channel because the next two questions would be up there in very recent videos and i'll just give you a glimpse of the question number two and the question number three which you can see right now on your screen these are the two questions which we'll be doing after this video so stay tuned with this channel i'll be up with two more videos in which i'll be discussing the solution of question number two and question number three. So until we meet again, please take care and thanks for watching.